So I have this fabric. Hi. Ooh. And have like the tentacles somehow like wrap around here. It's not a good place to be. So today what I'm going to be doing is, mm, how do I explain this? I have nothing to do. No, yes I do. <laughs> yes I do. Um, no. I, I want to be like creative and stuff like that and a lot of times that involves like taking pictures. Um, and I, I get these like concepts in my head. Dude, who cares? I'm going to be making a ski mask and it's for a picture, okay? That, that's all you need to know. Good morning, gorgeous. Okay, so here's the deal. So I have this fabric, and it's like nice fabric. I feel like it should be put to use, you know? And then I have this jacket. And I don't know why, I really don't know why, but this jacket inspires me to just like have a ski mask. I feel like it would just look great with like a ski mask. It's basically in this video, I'm just gonna be creating props for my pictures. So here is the plan. Using that fabric and this, and you would think, well, you already have a ski mask, why not just use this one for the picture? But no. First of all, it has a logo. Um, second of all, I really just wanna use that fabric. So let me see. Is this what I'm going for? I don't really know, hold on is no um i know that it's just all in my head here but there's something kind of epic about this give me one second it'll get better so basically that's the vision and it's okay if it doesn't click with you if it doesn't resonate if you don't see it it's okay that's it so basically, I'm going to use this as a template. Let's begin. So my technique is to literally just trace it out. I'm just folding out this fabric. I'm about to teach y'all how to sew. Um, I, I drooled on the fabric. That's okay. This is how you make a ski mask. You take a perfectly good like ski mask that you have, and then you put it down on a piece of fabric just like so just generally pinning around okay so i'm gonna take this chalk and i'm gonna just trace i'm just gonna oh my god oh my god what oh my god what is going on so i'm going i'm going up 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 and that's it, folks, that's it. And then, and then realize that you didn't cut it well, cause what the heck? <laughs> My goodness. <sighs> that was pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. And now, it's a tube top. <laughs> okay, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is sew this part, which is like the back side of it. I'm ready to sew, but I can't breathe. Okay, so. Did you like that? I'm going to test out on a little piece. Oh my god. We're off. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. It's a little tight. My god, that is so tight. What the heck? Uh, I don't feel good. I actually might pass out if I keep wearing this. It's uncomfortably suffocating. <laughs> There's no other. It's not even tight. It's suffocating. Um, so I'm just going to make this but like bigger attempt number four i know it looks exactly the same 
please be like just bigger. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's so much better. I think I'm like cocky right now because I can breathe. I'm gonna go just the bridge of my nose. I'll just mark my eyebrow. Okay, so I'm looking at these markings and they mean nothing to me. I'm gonna cut just until the the where the eyes hit. Mmm. Real quick, wouldn't you be terrified if you woke up in the middle of the night and like just saw this? This is ominous. <laughs> this is so scary. Oh my gosh. Um, it kind of makes me look cross-eyed to be honest. What do you want for dinner? Hi. <laughs> it's it's giving terror. I don't like it. Ew. But just know that I'm making the opening just a little bit wider. Now I kind of look like a little puppy. I'm going through phases here of like different creatures with this. Dude, it's really coming along, bruh. Huh? It's really coming along. Maybe just a little bit more eyebrow. Good morning. This is why the hood stays on, okay? I've been diligently cutting away. Let me just show you what it looks like. I'm liking how it looks. I think it looks slick. I like the length. Blah, blah, blah. However, I think it's really plain. It's not really like, ugh, you know what I mean? It's not, it's just shady. I just look shady in this. Um, and my idea is I want to like paint this, like paint some cool design in white. See this little squid or octopus arm? I want to do that and have like the tentacles somehow like wrap around here. Like just create some like cool thing, some cool pattern on there. Wait a second. How do I even draw this backwards? Ugh. I'm going to try to just like mainly mark the locations because I'm looking in the mirror. How am I supposed to like draw? Like, you know what I mean? That wasn't the vision. So... There's something like really hypnotic about this right here. Okay, I had another like realization. If I paint on it just like this while it's like not stretched out, the paint when I put it on, it's gonna stretch out and like warp probably and oh, I don't want that, you know? Too much effort for it to not come through. So what I'm gonna do is, this is Debbie. She has a twin. Her name's Cynthia. I'm pretty sure this one's Debbie, though. Um, so anyways, Debbie's gonna help me today. I'm gonna put this on her and then, like, paint on top. I hope she has the same-ish size head as me. Things are just, like, not adding up. I think her eyes are gorgeous, though. I've run into a little issue. I've neglected this project for a month. And I'm shameless about it. Um, actually though, it is really not a concern for you all because if you're watching this, it means that the video is uploaded and I got away with it. Hi everybody, good morning. I hope it's been a good morning. But anyways, back to business. Cynthia here, poor girl. She's been lying on the ground, just alone for a long time. At one point she was under my bed. It's not a good place to be. That's where all my crafts go to die. And I was not gonna let this die. So in this time, I did do a little bit of work. So I was using fabric paint on this part, but as you can see, it was getting a little sloppy. Um, I feel like with the brush, I couldn't get very detailed in there so I went out and bought these little fabric markers in hopes that somehow the process would become easier and I would actually do the thing in the arms of an angel -na 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 -na. <laughs>
Cynthia is beat up. Do you see this? Look at her nose. It's black from the mask. She has little, like, tats and little, like, face scars at this point. You're a warrior, Cynthia. So, I'm kind of exhausted. I'm tired. I'm bored. I'm starting to think this is a dumb idea. And Cynthia's nose is permanently blue. It doesn't affect me, but I'm just tired of looking at her blue nose. And the issue is, I just don't feel like I'm doing anything cool here. The design is mediocre. I do look more intimidating, yes. But is that enough? Yep, it's enough. Because I said so. And it's my video. Hi, how are you? <sighs> the mask is done. It's done, the pictures are done. It took me 10 years. But it's done. So, let's look at the final result. worth it yeah let's be serious here was it worth it <laughs> all in all I'm gonna say yes <laughs> I struggled with these pictures I did I'm still like not 100% there with them but I mean I executed my concept one thing I did learn throughout this process though is um literally the same day that I took these pictures I also took these pictures after work this is what I do mm -hmm. yeah I turn into basically a ninja that's I think that's what I accomplished this time and you know what I'm kind of proud I think that's very cool of me to be able to do such a thing please like the video because I just think I deserve it okay just like the video like the video because I'm asking really nicely and I'm tired of looking at this ski mask. I really am. I need to be done with it. Bye. Hi, everybody. Um, so I'm just here editing, and I wanted to say a couple things. Um, first of all, everybody say hi to Debbie. No, that's Cynthia. Sorry. What I wanted to say was I was looking at these pictures, and I go through, like, so many phases when editing. I don't know if anyone else your creative process compares um but sometimes i look at like the stuff that i've done at the very beginning and i'm like i hate it it's disgusting like i it's not the vision it's not it i didn't execute what i wanted or whatever but then i take some time off and then i look at it and i'm like you know what i'm like proud i like it i just to summarize, I'm proud of these little pictures. They're not 100% my vision, okay? But I still really like them. It doesn't bother me if no one else likes them. Um, but I really like them. And I learn throughout every time that I'm, like, taking pictures and executing concepts and stuff like that. I always learn something new, encounter a new struggle. So... Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say, is I like my pictures. I like my pictures. I like them. Can't stop, ain't stop, too hot. Came out like the daughter Elia and Tupac. Can I pop from the jump? Ain't nobody so shocked. And I'm a collector of roads. You serve up a G-Shocks. Got a bag from the label. I invested in. I flipped that. She read a book on how I did that. I shouldn't have I got right back. I got a lot of money. I ain't in for a quick stay. Okay, ever since me been, I ain't know who she is. She's just eyes on me. This is no where you live. 
And I never had to be <laughs> wherever I is. And I got brothers that are running up and handle my biz. And <laughs> I don't know what's happening here.